Stayallday.com. Yeah, from H Town. We about to talk about putting some respect, put some respect on my name. We about to talk about that this morning, everybody. Dollar One from Georgia, what's going on? Pierre from H Town. We talking about that this morning because if y'all don't know about my podcast, I put out an episode today about this very issue. Y'all know about what happened with Birdman when he went to the radio station, put some respect on my name. Even if you don't watch, even if you don't follow rap music, you probably seen it on Instagram or something like that. But I'm gonna explain it real simple and I'm gonna give you why I talked about it and the great points that you can get from this, even though we all saw it as a viral video, like a joke and everybody's laughing about it. It was funny, but I'm gonna tell you what you could take from it. So everybody, as you check in, my name is Dre Baldwin. I come from Philadelphia. I live in South Florida background pro athlete, played ball overseas nine years, and I'm a professional speaker. I've done three TED Talks, 5,000 YouTube videos, 4,000 blog posts, wrote seven books. I'm a coach and consultant. I got a podcast, as I just mentioned, and I do these live streams. I've done over 500 of these, and what I want to do is help you bulletproof your mindset, get yourself seen, and make things happen in your life instead of waiting for things to happen to you. Motivate you? <laughs> uh, well, you got to motivate yourself, but you can take the points that I give you and use them to motivate you. So let's get right into it. Let's get right into it this morning. For those of you who don't know, I'm going to just summarize this real quick for people who know nothing. There's this guy named Baby. He's the head of Cash Money Records. Y'all know Lil Wayne, Drake, Nicki Minaj, all those people. He's the head of that company. He felt like this radio station was disrespecting him. They was making too many jokes about him, allowing people to come on there and talk shit about him. He didn't like it. So he came up to the radio station for an interview. And before the interview even started, he said, listen, Y'all need to put some respect on my name. When y'all say my name, make sure y'all say it respectfully. Y'all be y'all been talking too slick on my name right now. And I'm letting y'all know right now, don't disrespect my name no more. So then he walked out of the studio. He didn't even do the interview. He talked for like three minutes and he left. So what I'm going to tell y'all is why what he did is something that all y'all can learn from. Because again, we all saw what he did. We made jokes about it. He made t-shirts about it. And it became a, a funny thing. But I want all of you, especially if you're looking to build a personal brand. If you're looking to build a brand or build a business in your life, you need to take some points from what Birdman did here and understand these. Number one point you got to understand is this. Never, ever, ever in your life allow someone to talk down on your accomplishments, no matter who they are, where they're from, or what they've done. Never let anyone talk down on what you've achieved. I remember when Jay-Z started owning a, when he started opening a Barclays Center in Brooklyn, there was a lot of reporters who came out and said, well, Jay-Z only owns a little piece of the Nets. He only owns like less than 1% of the Nets. So why is he doing the shows? He ain't even a majority partner. He don't even have no power with the Brooklyn Nets. And Jay-Z during his shows, he came out and said, listen, don't let anyone talk down on your achievements. If you worked hard to achieve what you achieved, don't let anybody else talk down on it like you didn't do that, like it's not worthy of their respect. Never let people talk down on you. What Birdman was saying to the radio people at the Breakfast Club was like, yo, I worked hard to earn my spot. I've been in this game longer than y'all been in y'all game. Don't let, don't, I'm not gonna sit here and let y'all disrespect me. And that's why I'm coming up here to look you in your face and tell you stop disrespecting my business. So never let anyone talk down on your accomplishments, no matter how little accomplishments you have or how big your accomplishments are. Never let anyone talk down on your achievements. Number two point is that if you are building a personal brand, any of you want to build a personal brand out of your name or you want to sell your story, you want people to know what you're doing, you want people to know you and you want fans and all of that, or you build a business that's synonymous with your name, i.e. baby Baby's Birdman's company is called Cash Money, right? But everybody who knows Cash Money, when you mention Cash Money, what name do you think of? You think Birdman, you think Lil Wayne. Those are two names that come up first, right? Which means his company is synonymous with his name. Like you can't say Cash Money and not say Baby. So if you build a personal brand or you build a business where everybody knows you for being part of that business, never let anybody talk down on that business. And if they do, it's personal. That's a person. You should take that personal when somebody talks down on your business. If everybody knows you for that business, then that means you should take it personal. Somebody's talking shit about Rockefeller. Who should take that personal? Jay-Z, right? Why? Because everybody knows when you say Rockefeller, you're talking about Jay-Z. Even though it doesn't say Jay-Z, if you talk Jay-Z, you talking Rockefeller, you talk Rockefeller, you talking Jay-Z. So don't let people, if someone's disrespecting your business or your personal brand, you should take that personal. Sometimes I hear people who have their own business or they got this thing, they do their website, they'll say, well, it's what I do, but it's not who I am. That's bullshit. That's complete bullshit. Don't ever find yourself saying that if you want to build a personal brand or you want to build a business that's anonymous with your name. What you do is who you are. What I do is who I am. 
Me personally, I think all of you, I'm in Miami. All of you should take that. If someone disrespects your business, that's something you should take personal because they're getting in the middle of your business. If people are talking shit about your business, they could be influencing other people to say, okay, well, I'm not going to buy nothing from them. I'm not going to follow this person. I'm not, I don't think Dre's that good. I'm not going to read his book. Well, I'm not going to follow that girl on Instagram because all these other people talking shit, you should take that personal. Like people are trying to get in the middle of your business. They're trying to slow your business down. So you need to take that personal. And that's exactly what Baby did. He went up there and said, look, y'all disrespecting my business. So stop, stop disrespecting my business because y'all getting in the middle of me doing what I want to do. And number three point, number three point that you need to get from what Baby did, put some respect on my name, is this. Whenever you find you got a bunch of problems sprouting up on all sides, you got this person saying something, this person over here saying something, maybe you got this problem over here, this challenge over here, this situation behind you, this circumstance to the left, this other thing to the right, all you need to do is go address the biggest one. Go address the biggest problem, the root cause of a situation, and that will handle everything else in order. Everything else will fall just like dominoes. It's kind of like, you ever see those fighting movies where it's like a kung fu movie and all these guys are trying to beat up this one guy? If you go, it's not like that in that you gotta go fight every single one of them. It doesn't really work that way in real life. If you go beat up the biggest one, all the other ones are gonna go running away because they like, all right, well, if he beat him, I definitely can't beat him, and they'll all go away. And that's what Birdman's aim was. Who knows if he achieved that, but that was what he did. He went and made an example out of the Breakfast Club. Like, listen, I'm coming to y'all because y'all the ones with the biggest voice. Y'all the ones that everybody's listening to. And since y'all are allowing people to come up here and disrespect me, I'm gonna address y'all. And now everybody's gonna get the message. And now everybody knows this is what I'm gonna do if you disrespect me. Most people don't want to go in a situation like what Birdman did to the Breakfast Club, like having people in this, having somebody in their face saying, "Yo, stop disrespecting me. Stop doing what you're doing. Stop talking down on my name." So basically the, the concept is what you ever heard the concept strike the shepherd and the sheep will scatter you ever heard that phrase when you strike the shepherd the sheep scatter that means you strike the biggest problem take down the biggest bully all the other ones will go away real quick you understand so let me recap those three points number one never let anyone talk down on your accomplishments number two your brand or your business is you never let somebody disrespect your business because they're slowing you down from putting food on your table and number three when you got problems in your life attack the biggest one first all the little ones will go away real quick and if y'all want to hear me explain this in even more detail all you got to do is listen to my podcast it's called work on your game we on soundcloud we on stitcher we on itunes look that up if you have heard the podcast, please leave me a five-star review. I need reviews, and I want people to subscribe because this is a daily podcast. We come out every single day. So those are the three points. Put some respect on my name. That's how you can learn from that. My name's Dre all day. I am about to ain't even moving. This is, this is the best pool right this morning. I'm about to jump in that pool right now. And anyway, y'all want to learn more about me, everything you want to know, my social media, my Snapchat is at Dre Baldwin, my podcast, I just told y'all about my books, I got books that I sell, they're on Amazon, they're on iBooks, I got courses on my website, all of that stuff is on my website, DreAllDay.com. Any questions you got about me, just go to my website, read it, and if there's anything you can't find, just send me an email, and there's a link on my website to email me podcast is called work on your game or just look up my name my name is dre baldwin dre all day work on your game look up any of those words you'll see me it's my podcast the only one out there so just look up my podcast make sure you subscribe make sure you listen to it and leave me a five-star review anything you want to know about me go to my website dreallday.com all the information is there all my social media all my links all my emails everywhere else i'm at you can find it there Hit me up, DreAllDay.com. Everybody, work on your fucking game, Dre all day. What could you not do with more confidence? Less attention to the negativity of other people, more focus on your goals and nothing else, and not letting unfortunate circumstances slow you down. Would all of those help you out? Well, go to DreAllDay.com slash Bulletproof. Check out my new eight-week course called Bulletproof Mindset. Get started, and I'll see you over there. Work on your game. If you're on Snapchat, hit me on the Snap. My Snap name is at Dre Baldwin. You already know how that works. And I got a podcast, if you didn't know. It is called Work On Your Game. It is an everyday podcast where I talk about getting yourself into the right mindset, that bulletproof mindset, getting yourself seen, heard, known, getting the exposure you want, and making things happen in your life instead of waiting for things to happen to or for you. Subscribe to that podcast when you're on iTunes, SoundCloud, and Stitcher. Make sure you check it every single day. Make sure you're subscribed so you catch the heat. Work on your game. Like